Hey guys, GameMix1K okay, back again for another Marvel Battle Lines video. Today we're going to be jumping to some of the new events that came out recently with the most recent update. So this is the one we're going to be doing today, it's the Mordo event that's available on Fridays and Saturdays every week. So let's jump right in. So you get three chances to do this every day and we actually get some auto skip tickets for doing this stage. Some of the other stages, I think the Mysterio one, you get some XP, which is pretty good, especially now that they allow you to get some special cards when you get to level 30 and you keep leveling up. As of right now, I don't have any of those new cards, but uh, I'm sure I'll get them at some point as I nearly got to the max of my current level 30 cap. But this is the team I'm going to be running. As you can see, I've got Wasp as a leader. Bring in Thor, Captain America, War Machine. Got some action cards here and some zero-cost units. The Ikari Warrior and Lady Bullseye, they also do damage when you put them on the field the first time you summon them. The reason I'm bringing this team is the main kind of... Actually, let's just start the event. I'll show you what the, uh, the main strategy is of this event. And as always, guys, I hope you have a good day. If you do like my videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to join our Discord. Link is in the description. Okay. So this event is a little special. Just like the Mysterio one that came out not too long ago. So this is just the explanation. A little tutorial in the beginning. Okay. So as you saw, both the enemy leader, Baron Mordo, and myself, we had some HP taken off when both of the uh, characters got destroyed. Okay, so anytime a character is knocked out, the leader receives damage equal to half that of the character's attack. Okay, so basically we want to bring a team that can do quite a bit of damage to the enemy characters or the enemy units that are put on the field so that we can take out Baron Mordo's HP at the same time. Okay. Okay, this isn't going to kill me, thankfully. But okay, that's fine. Let's use Techno Organic Virus on her. Okay, she's finished. So as you can see, Baron Mordo's HP went down a little bit. Okay, she's going to... Okay, she's not going to be able to take me out, thankfully. Okay, her attack stat is only 130, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Ikari Warrior here to take her out. Okay, this is why you bring these kind of units. Even though they're not very strong, they do do a bit of damage. Okay, she's going to take out uh, Karen Page. Oh no, that's fine. Um, I'm going to do this. So this I really like because the radioactive warning because it will target an enemy and keep dealing damage until they've died. Basically 350 damage every turn until they've been knocked out. So that is pretty good. Let's do this. Am I forgetting okay, depending on where the enemy is placed on the board, the barrier or actually area that the radioactive warning affects is like one square around the enemy that you've attached that card to. Um, let's move her down here. Let's take some key. Mind if I take this? Okay, nice. We got Thor. Very good. Okay, that's fine. And let's put Thor. Actually, let's use this to get all of those fragments. And then we're going to put Thor at the top. So Thor is actually going to deal damage every turn for us, which is very good. Okay, it doesn't matter if he's able to form a battle line. That's fine. That's fine. I might have a surprise in store. Okay, both of those guys are gone. He's taken her out. Thank you very much. Um, She can take this. Mind if I do. Okay. Who what's he gonna put on the field? Okay, yeah, that's finished. Thor's gonna take him out. Sometimes you have to improvise. Okay, um let's put one sixteen. Okay, six six eight, we're nearly there. Um 
Let's move her down here. Okay, so we've pretty much finished this. Okay, she's a bit annoying. But it's fine. Thor's going to do a bit of damage to her. Okay, and then hopefully War Machine can take her out here. Okay, yes, she's finished. So we're slowly lowering his HP. Okay, let me just check what her special skill is. Okay, so when we switch a card, she gains 100 attack. That's fine. Um, let's put Cap here and take her out. Yep, she's finished. And we're going to move Cap into that spot. Okay, of course he's going to try and block us. Okay, and Cap is going to go right here. And we've done it. So this event is pretty easy, especially if you know what to do and you have the right team to take it on. At first, the first time I did this actually, I wasn't paying attention, so I ended up dead pretty quickly. Same goes for the Mysterio event. I'll be doing a video for that as well very soon. Just to show you guys a little tips and tricks video, how to do the event pretty easily. Okay, but there you go. Completed, very easy. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hopefully look forward to seeing you in the next one. All right, take care. Bye.